Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-2181. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures SCP-2181 is housed in a standard humanoid containment cell at Site-145. Monitoring is to be done by closed-circuit camera only. Cell should not have windows. Cell door is to be furnished with an external manual, non-electronic lock, in addition to standard site-wide remote electronic locking mechanisms. The door is to remain closed and locked while personnel are within the cell. Should SCP-2181 lock the door to its containment cell, personnel are to wait 15 minutes before manually disengaging the lock and re-engaging remotely. SCP-2181 is to be supplied with a misting bottle of saline fluid that should be refilled every two days. Requests for food, music, and toys are to be brought to the site director for approval. Addendum After event 2181-2, personnel within the containment cell are to remain at least 5 meters from locked doors in the event that SCP-2181 becomes distressed. Description SCP-2181 is a small humanoid of indeterminate gender with semi-opaque skin. SCP-2181 has not aged visibly since containment. It does not require physical sustenance, though it often makes requests for baked sweets. The orbits of the eyes are 11.5 centimeters in diameter, nearly five times that of a typical human in early stages of development, with accompanying deformities to the frontal, parietal, and zygomatic bones of the cranium. The eyelids are disproportionately small in comparison and SCP-2181 has developed keratoconjunctivitis cica, excessive dryness of the eyes, as a result. SCP-2181 has considerably greater visual acuity and range than a normal human. Testing has revealed that SCP-2181 can close and lock any door within sight, as well as windows, hatches, and any other covering placed in a wall, ceiling, or floor. SCP-2181 is not capable of opening doors at a distance. SCP-2181 will close and lock or seal doors seemingly at random, reacting with extreme distress if not allowed or able to do so. Its behavior when left alone is otherwise generally considered normal for a developing human. SCP-2181 displays a number of abnormal behaviors, including giggling to itself when alone, violent play with toys, and extreme fear responses to door slamming and unexpected changes in its surroundings. It is generally introverted and tends to mumble when speaking. Dr. Wygant has given a diagnosis of post-traumatic stress disorder, likely stemming from emotional abuse, and has been assigned as SCP-2181 psychologist, though introversion and reluctance to communicate have increased since event 2181-02. SCP-2181 was contained on March 1, 1976, when it exited Site-145's third-floor men's lavatory, closing and sealing the door behind itself. The lavatory door was not equipped with a lock. SCP-2181 asked to be hidden from a malevolent entity or force, details of which have not been provided to date. The lavatory wall had to be manually breached to effect rescue of two personnel locked within. Addendum Log of Event 2181-02 Preface Dr. Amelia Wygant, head researcher for SCP-2181, had served as SCP-2181 psychologist for the past four years in the hope of reducing its introversion and gaining information about its origin. Timestamp 1652-1980 Midnight Dr. Wygant brings the session to a close and directs SCP-2181 in cleaning up building block toys. Containment cell door is closed per regulations. 022 hours. Dr. Wygond asks SCP-2181 if it wishes to talk about where it came from. SCP-2181 shakes its head and does not answer. Dr. Wygond asks if it will describe how it reached Site-145. SCP-2181 responds that it just walked in and ignores further questions while silently gathering blocks. 0107 SCP-2181 cries out in alarm, turning to cell door. Remote electromagnetic locking mechanism engages. 
115. Dr. Wygod moves to door and discovers it is locked. Dr. Wygod informs SCP-2181 that future play sessions will be jeopardized if she is not allowed to leave the containment cell. 0131. SCP-2181 looks at Dr. Wygod and places a finger against its lips. Site staff reports containment cell door lock override unresponsive. Dr. Wygod continues attempting to open door and entreaties SCP-2181 to unlock it. 0157. Containment cell door opens. A hand, approximately two meters high, covered in unidentifiable crystal formations, emerges from inside containment cell airlock, grasps Dr. Wygod and draws her through door. Personnel mobilized outside containment cell report that outer door has been replaced with a view of deep space. Command advises team should not engage. SCP-2181 screams. Containment cell door slams shut. 0210. Outer door reappears, but is still locked. 1640. Remote lock override engages. Personnel enter cell and find no sign of Dr. Wygon. SCP-2181 is curled in fetal position in corner furthest from door, crying. End note. SCP-2181 was unresponsive until moved to new containment cell, at which time it locked the door and would not allow remote override for a period of 255 hours. Surveillance indicated it spent most of its time sitting on the bed and giggling or sleeping. When asked about the incident, SCP-2181 refused to provide any information about the entity or the whereabouts of Dr. Wygant. Containment procedures updated. 1980. Addendum. Log of Event 2181-04. On 6-12-2005, Site-145 experienced a power failure and site-wide containment breach. See Document 81-CB-251-206. SCP-2181 did not leave its cell during this time. After containment was re-established, Routine containment checks revealed SCP-2181 playing with a small artifact made of crudely interlocking bones. Artifact was recovered and classified as Anomalous Item 2181-01. Bones did not conform to any known shape. Testing revealed them to contain human DNA mixed with cetacean DNA and that of a third unknown species. Human DNA did not match any individual on file. Bones were inscribed with a series of lines that, when interpreted as binary code, read as follows. Once upon a time, there was a little prince who wondered where he shouldn't and saw a thing he shouldn't. He tried to run away and close the door behind. That silly little prince, it's not like he can hide. When questioned about the item, SCP-2181 said, Amelia sends her love. Examination of security footage did not reveal how SCP-2181 procured the item. Level 3 Clearance Required Credentials Accepted Addendum Log of Event 2181-05 On 2014, a human right arm, severed 8 centimeters below the shoulder, was found on the hallway floor outside SCP-2181's containment cell and subsequently classified Anomalous Item 2181-02. Surveillance footage gives no indication of how AI-2181-02 arrived at Site-145. Surreptitious questioning revealed no knowledge of the item by SCP-2181. Forensic analysis indicated the arm had been amputated with a serrated blade. It had previously been split along the anterior side. The bones removed and replaced with bones with similar composition to those of anomalous item 2181-01. DNA analysis of the surrounding tissue indicated the arm belonged to Dr. Amelia Wygant. Identification of the ring on the fourth finger confirmed this. Inscribed into the dorsal surface of the forearm was a message in Morse code, translated below. That is not the print. Analysis concluded the message was inscribed via a serrated blade, though whether it was the same blade used to amputate the arm is unclear. Evaluation of containment of SCP-2181 is ongoing. Okay, I think that about does it for today. Thank you for listening, 
if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Zargaran, O Crap Guy, Rowan O'Brien, Chris Lawler, James Saba, Lost Boy, Signar, your local foundation agent, Zazapan, Cupster, Dean Dingus, Braided Peach, Kignac, Mr. Duchuk, Sato Vos, Oscuro Vision, Grimnir, Extra Moments 123, Swift Raw, Ebivy, and Simon the Skink. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash thevolgan. Thank you.